This LX251 from Starag, this is actually a machine in their production facility. Uh, and this week, working in conjunction with Hexagon, they're actually showing this multitasking machine. Actually, machine blades, but well, once they've been machined, what they do is they use a wireless laser scanner from Hexagon to come in and check the parts. Now they do a, a 36 or no less than 36,000 points on a point cloud in a second. I mean, how quick is that to actually uh, to measure and check these parts? I mean, if you were using a touch probe, that would take a lot, lot longer. And of course, if there is any inaccuracies, you can then rectify it. And of course, you cannot come to an event like this and not see the STC 1250 HD in action. Now, this is a serious five axis machine uh, with a pallet system on it, but it's not just a five axis milling machine. It can turn, it can grind, it can, it's a multi discipline machine. And if you like serious metal removal, then this one could be for you. Now this is quite unusual but really interesting. Now here you've got a Fanuc Cobot which is actually um, installed or, or positioned where you would generally expect the second pallet on the machine or the twin pallet on the machine to be. And then you've got here on the, on the right hand side a stacking system. So what they've done is, if, is implemented a, a Cobot into the production cycle so it gives you much more flexibility and you can see with this you can, you can have whatever size of part, you can have billets, you can have a, a number of different components. You can also use vision on this so you can pick up different types of parts and know that you're reliably putting them into uh, the machining area. Now with this too on the presentation I saw, they've actually got situations where they've got like AGV vehicles in front of the machine where the cobot is coming out and picking parts off of an AGV and then putting them into the stacking system. Totally, totally flexible. Behind me here, this is the LX021 from Starag. Now this is actually machining very, very small blades. And part of the process with these small blades is actually to measure them in process too, for which they're using a Bloom uh, touch probe. Now of course, if you do that, it enables you to go back into the production cycle to ensure you get a quality part at the end. There's so much that goes into machining of parts like this and blades and so forth for the aerospace sector. That's really what this event is about, talking all about all the different production processes and what's involved. And in this instance, behind me, the presentation is talking about not just the machining strategy, but the partners that they work with to identify you know, the quality of the finished part and to ensure that um, you know, the process is verified and that there's no vibration in the machining process, the correct toolings used, the tooling strategies, all of that complete uh, ensures that you get the best quality product for the aerospace sector. And we talked about the ST1250 and how that's good at metal removal, but what about this bad boy, the Echo Speed? This plows through uh, aluminium and other materials thanks to the Z3 head. This is one of the most dynamic machine tools I've ever seen. So how do you ensure you're getting the best out of your machine tool? Well, Tim behind us has been working on a demonstration here this week where this Hecker X55, working in conjunction with CG Tech, is monitoring the forces of machining. So when this machine is in action, which it's, it's doing at the moment, it's machining, uh, it's machining a bliss, you can identify how much stress and strain either the spindle's under or the cutting tool's under, so you can slightly back off. And, and what that enables you to do is get better tool life, ensure that the machine uh, also has a, a better life and there's less wear on the spindle, while still maintaining that element of, of reducing those cycle times and improving productivity. So then we've got wire arc additive manufacturing on display. Now you're thinking, what on earth is that? Well, I thought the same until I uh, sat into this present or sat in this presentation yesterday. What you've got here is a, a blisk, and whereas normally what would happen is you would you would machine the whole thing out of a, 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 a solid billet, for example. Um, but now what they're doing is actually having a starting off with a smaller billet and actually welding the blades um, onto the uh, outer diameter of the blisk. Now what that enables you to do is obviously there's less machining, there's, there's less roughing. All you've got to do is finish machine the blades and the other parts of the blisk. Now you can actually save up to 50% 
on the part by doing it in this way. And also when you're doing machining, there's also a reduction of about 30% in the machining time because you haven't got all of that metal removal. Just another one of those kind of innovations that you come here and you go, it just blows my mind. <laughs>